Imagine one day you wake up and you have no stress whatsoever. Seems like a glorious thing, but let's play that scene out. As you wake up, you decide, I'm gonna go feast on some donuts because I'm not stressed about my body or how that's gonna impact my digestion. You don't even put on clothes because who cares who sees your goodies? No worries, no stress here. Your little puppy, Fido, stares at you with longing eyes. Please feed me, but you're like, Fido, I'm not really stressed about your life. You take care of yourself. You hop into your car and see a yellow light, but do you stop? No. Do you slow down? No, because who cares about physical safety? You're not stressed about it. A car cuts in front of you. Again, no brakes. You slam into them. Who cares about auto repair? As the police show up and hand you your citation, you just smile and say, you know what, no stress. Who cares about money? This scene plays out something we often take for granted, which is that stress has a purpose. In this video, we're going to explore what are the actual benefits of stress, and how do we reframe it to become more stress resilient rather than failing at trying to be stress resistant. <laughs> In order to understand that stress has a benefit, let's look at the most basic definition of what stress is. Stress is a physiological response when something we care about is at stake. A couple key things here. Number one, stress is physiological. Stress is not an emotion. And yet we use stress as an emotion all the time. When someone asks us how we're feeling, we say, I'm stressed. Keep in mind that anger creates a sense of stress. Anxiety creates a sense of stress. Sadness has some stress. Those are very different emotions, but the body is physiologically responding similarly. Now, the second and more important key idea here is that something has to be at stake in order for us to feel stress. If you were asked to give a speech in front of a room of stuffed animals, you probably wouldn't have much stress. However, give that same speech in front of a group of your peers, and then the stress levels rise. Note that much of what we talk about in terms of being at stake today is psychological or social rather than physical. Caveman, cavewoman would be physically worried about stressors throughout their lives. For us, we're more worried about those psychological and social stressors. But something has to be at stake, which tells us that we care about something. Now, is stress bad? Not necessarily. Stress is good until it's not. So early on when we're experiencing stress, this is called eustress. It is promoting us to move, to act, to make decisions. However, too much of that stress, either in the moment or over time, can turn into distress. So what we're talking about here are the things that actually are eustress, but we start freaking ourselves out and thinking it is distress. So let's talk about what are the beneficial responses of stress. There are three of them. Number one, it's called the rise response. When we feel stress, sometimes it is directing our attention, increasing our alertness, and motivating us to act. When someone cuts us off in traffic, we want to be stressed because it signals us to act. When we feel stress levels rise over trying to get a lesson right, it is our body trying to help us remain alert and make decisions that benefit our learners. The second beneficial response to stress is called the reach out response. When we are stressed, we need help from other people. We would not have survived as a species if we didn't seek help. Unfortunately, a lot of us go the opposite route. Rather than seeking out help, we isolate ourselves. So in those moments when I'm feeling stressed, that is my body's way of telling me, find some help, find some support, seek out someone who can help you through this. Now the third positive beneficial response to stress is called the reflect response. Fascinatingly, when we experience stress, we actually increase our neuroplasticity, and our ability to form memories. Now, a key distinction here is that we remember whatever strong emotion was associated with that stress. So don't go into your classrooms or your worlds thinking, I'm just going to like create more stress for my kids so they'll remember more. They will remember the stress, but they might not remember the content necessarily. If you've had that moment where you're just ruminating over something in the middle of the night that you can't get off of your mind and you can't sleep, that's literally your stress response trying to help you remember that situation so you don't make a mistake again, or to help you prepare and rise to the occasion if the stressor happens tomorrow. So how do we turn this into a practical strategy? We utilize the power of a you stress reframe. You see, sometimes we start to feel bad or we start to feel stressed, and then we feel bad about feeling bad. And those are the moments when we intervene. We can still feel the stressor, but then we do two things. First, 
We acknowledge that our stress is trying to help us. We might even say to ourselves, this is a sign that my heart is in the right place. This stress is a sign that I care about blank. And then we take it one step further. Which of the three beneficial stress responses is at play? So if I care about something and I want to do well, that's my rise response. Just as athletes or performers utilize stress to get into a flow state, we can try to do the same. If it's the reach out response, then I'm going to pause myself and say, you know what, I'm really stressed right now. Who could help me either by processing through this or giving me suggestions and strategies? Even what are some resources, things I can read or expose myself to in order to grow and learn? Or if it's the reflect response, my brain is just trying to help me remember something. Do I just pause and literally start writing out those thoughts so I have a place and space for it? Do I, again, try to connect with someone else to process through some things? Every stress response is designed to help us survive. So the next time you feel those stress levels start to rise, don't fight it. Don't feel bad about feeling bad. Instead, ask yourself, how is this my body's way of helping me move forward? How can I become stress resilient rather than stress resistant?